Hi, and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking screen replacement effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to import our footage. So I'm just gonna right click and go file import. And now I've got my footage in there. We also need to import the footage that is gonna go on top of that screen. So I'm gonna repeat that process again, file import and cool, there it is. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag that stock footage to the composition to make that composition. And then I'm just gonna drag my uh, cinematic particles video over here, but I'm just gonna turn the eye off because we don't really need it for now. Now, the reason why I've chosen this uh, stock footage clip is because it has these crosshairs over here, which make it a whole lot easier to track. So I'll show you what I mean. Like, so now we're gonna actually start to track that footage. So if I scrub through this, you can see how there is a little bit of a, a shake there. And what we want is when we put our um, clip on top, we don't, we want that to actually move with the movements of this clip as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that stock footage clip. I'm going to right click, go to track and stabilize, then go to track motion. Now the camera tracker panel has popped up. And what we need to do is we need to change the track type to perspective corner pin. And now you have these four little points over here. And what you wanna do is, I'm just gonna press V to, to bring up my selection tool. You don't wanna actually click on the point because if you click on the point, you're moving that point there. You wanna click away in that first box and now you can move it to wherever you like. So this might take a little bit of time to get used to. But once you get the hang of it, all you have to do is click and then you can move it to wherever you want and then put it in the middle of that crosshair. And then you can do the same for this side as well. But sometimes, you know, you can see what happens there if you are not careful. So just make sure that you are only moving um, that box over there. So you wanna click somewhere over there and then you can put it into that crosshair. So now that I've done that, now what we need to do is we need to track it. So all we have to do is we need to analyze that. Make sure you're on the first keyframe. It's gonna analyze forward. Cool, so now once it's analyzed, what we then need to do is we need to go to edit target. And we're just gonna make sure that we're selecting that layer that we want to appear on top. So if I just press okay, and then if I just press apply, now you will see a whole bunch of these things, you know, have popped up. And now if I turn that eye back on for my cinematic uh, video, you can see that it's nicely stuck using the same motion and movement as that original clip. Now it's obviously too small. So what we're gonna do here is we are just going to press S for scale and we're just gonna scale it up. So doesn't matter if we go over because what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and just uh, drop it underneath my other layer. So now you can't see it again, but what we're gonna do is we are just going to use an effect to remove this green screen. So to do that, the effect that we are going to use is this thing which is called key light. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab that screen color button, click on that uh, green and you can already see it's done a pretty good job but what we're going to do is we're going to remove these crosshairs as well so i'm going to show you how to do that so if you just go to screen mat and then if you open up the screen mat settings over here and you just play around with some of these uh settings over here so for example all of this white i'm just bringing it down until it is pure white around the background and then you can even play around with some of the clip uh, black settings if you want. But the one that will remove the uh, crosshairs over there is this screen D-spot. And so if you just drag that over, you can see that it's already removed those spots. So you don't really need too much of it. I'm just gonna leave it at 13. And then we can go back to our final result. And there we have it. And so now when you go and you scrub through that, now you have a whatever video that you wanted to put in there on top of that phone. 
And if you want it to scale in a little bit more, you can, and it kind of sticks to that area of the green screen. So I think that looks pretty cool. Now, the only other thing that I did to this footage was I created a, um, a new adjustment layer. So I went and I made a new adjustment layer and I made sure that I put that at the top. And then I searched for the effect called uh, Lumetri Color. And I just did a quick, you know, like uh, look on top of this. So the look that I've been really liking is these SL Gold Rush uh, HDR and LDR looks. And, you know, like the LDR one is pretty cool or you can go with the HDR one. I think the HDR one maybe looks a little bit better, but we're just gonna drop that down to about 60. So now we've given it like a uniformed kind of look um, over it. And the only other thing that I added on here was some noise. So I added a new adjustment layer. And if I add some noise, maybe bring that up to about 10%, you know, now that will bring some noise and grain back into that whole footage together. So yeah, so that's about it for this short tutorial on how to do screen replacement using the 3D tracker and a few effects like key light. Anyways, guys, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.